So <clears throat> after uh, fending off the skulks, uh, the young the young girl, uh, Josie uh, Tuggett, uh, thanks you and um, and uh, says uh, I'm I'm getting back to the fair. I I think it's about time for them to serve the pudding. Mm. Ask her. Oh, did you see any more of these uh, creatures when you were in there? Uh, no, no, there, there were, there were just the two, um, I, I, I did hear some other people, uh, out in the woods, it sounded like they were arguing. Um, thank you, that, enjoy the pudding. Oh. No. Maybe some people have gathered. Should we head over to the forest? Yep. Arguing? Well, what were maybe, they arguing about? Well, maybe Nanny's over there already. Maybe. She did like to argue with him. We should go check it out. Greed. Can she take us over in that area? Show us where they were. Uh, I'm not going back out there with those things. You, you just, you just walk that way. You'll, you'll, you'll find them. They have a camp. Okay. And I say we just head out, see what we see. Yeah. yeah. Cassie is going to look for footprints while we're walking. So I guess at half speed, which is 20 paces for me. And she's going to have her short bow out and ready. I'm very slow, so that's not even half speed for me. <laughs> but I can keep up. So as you uh, keep walking in that direction out into the woods, you do finally uh, come upon a uh, fire. Uh, going uh, up up in front of you as you can as you can see it uh, rising up and you you do hear uh, voices as a uh, night starts to set in oh do we see the people or yeah there are them? yeah there are people gathered around a uh, fire what do um, they look like? Do we recognize them? You, you, you do not. Um, Gronk, run in there and tell them how they can prevent forest fires. My name's not Gronk, it's Gonk. Not <laughs> Gonk. <laughs> They are, uh, they are, uh, all, uh, all, all human. Um, there are six of them, uh, in, in total. Do we recognize any of them? You, you don't. If you, uh, look at if you look at them closely it, it appears that uh, one of them is uh, injured and uh, seems to not not be doing very well we can maybe help him 
Maybe they'll help us. I'll, um, I'll step into the light, I guess, and, you know, hold Gonka my hands step. out. Gonka step with her. Well, you know what? God's going to stay kind of hidden. <laughs> as you uh, go to uh, walk into the camp, you feel something uh, like it's going to tug on your ankle, make a dexterity saving throw. Oh, but I have advantage, yeah? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, let's see how this And uh, as you uh, feel this, you react quickly and pull your leg away, and this uh, sling trap uh, goes off as as a as you as you stepped into the loop of a rope that then that it, that that was then tightening around your leg, and it whips up and into a tree. And it and it w would have had you dangling up upside down had it uh, had it grabbed you. Uh, but doing but springing the trap uh, alerts the uh, the six people in the camp and they call out, "Who's there? Who ventures into our camp?" I step into the light and I hold my hands up. Uh, I mean you no harm. We we came upon you and one of you looks injured. We just want to help. Oh, you want to help, do you? Y yes. I feel like your words have subtext, but we do want to Are you alone? No. I have some friends with me. They won't hurt yeah. you. Well, stop all this skulking about. Come out and so, I can, so we can see them. Okay, but I'll, I'll warn you, we're quite a unusual group, but I promise we mean you no harm. Cassie will step out first, has her short bow drawn and red. Kind of yeah. sulks behind a tree a little bit. That, uh, Melwork follows suit, just kind of stands uh, next to Brina. Gaunt walks out out in front of Brina. This is this is Gonk. He's cool. What happened here? What do you mean what happened here? We're settling down for dinner. But why are you injured? Oh, he just He'll be fine. He he just he just took 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 a bit of an injury. He uh he he fell. Yeah. Um. Are you sure? Do, do his wounds look like uh that of someone falling? Uh. Make a make a medicine check. Uh, no, it looks like he was stabbed with a spear. Well, crap. I hand Gonk a ration. Here, eat that. No, oh, I'm gonna eat their food. Maybe wait just a minute. Let's not... That might make a mess. Melwork looks at the one injured and says, um, so did you fall on a spear? <laughs> uh... One just seems to be doing all the uh, talking. Uh, yeah, yeah. He uh, fell down, there was a spear, and uh, yeah, it stabbed him. Uh, I'd like to hear from him, actually. Uh, look, don't don't bother Nick. He's uh, not doing too good. <coughs> I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think he wants to talk to you right now. Sounds like you're not doing too good either. In fact, uh, look, how about uh, you help us? You so you say you want to help us, huh? Mm, maybe. What do you want? 
Well, uh, how about you uh, give us, um, drop all your weapons and uh, all your belongings and uh, leave it here and uh, walk on out of our camp. You first. Yeah, I look around at my party member. I mean, this guy seems to be the threat, so... I don't think we'll be doing that. Well, we can just walk out of your camp. No, I'm afraid you're not walking out of here until you give us all your stuff. Why do you want our stuff? Because we want it. Because we can sell it. And, uh, can Cassia just pop off a surprise round and shoot the guy that's talking? I like it. Uh, we can uh, we can uh, all roll for initiative. We're kind of on equal footing here. Surprise! I'm Strong, guessing Strong they're really, all prepared. Strong hasn't been ready to fight all night long. <laughs> oh, I, I get a twenty no, with initiative. Either. Great. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I'm going to re-roll that using luck. Okay. That's oh, one yeah. of my... Uh, yep. Well, <laughs> yep. well wait. You, you can re-roll one, re ones and two, so you can do it again. Yeah? Or does he have to take the second roll? No well, it's the lucky trait. Well, I, so I don't even have to use the luck, so I, I can get the re-roll ones and twos. No. No, no, well, right. It's the lucky trait, and usually on the lucky trait, you you reroll ones, and if you if you if you roll a one and then you roll a one again, then that's it. But given that you rolled a two and then a one, I'll say you get to roll it again. Yeah. <laughs> Just don't roll a one or two. Three. Oh, oh no. Some I'm not getting my bonuses for initiative though. Hmm. Oh, do we must have the two? No, you don't. What's your dexterity? I'm showing your stats is correct. I don't know why it's doing that. Oh, you know what? It's probably because I'm rolling it. Let me do something. <laughs> yeah, see when I yeah. roll it that way? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I'm so rolling it, should... it from a hot bar, and it may have been I drug it over there when I had the 10. Hmm. Mm. Oh, oops. I just accidentally changed your hit points to the wrong thing. Shoot. <laughs> Instead of typing in your initiative, what should your hit points be? Your hit points should be uh, 12 plus... 20. No. 20. 20, I think yeah. Was 20. Yeah. yeah. Okay, there we go. Okay. Okay. All right, so, and with that, I need some battle music. Well, crap. Sorry, I got us into this. No. Yeah, no. You need to play the who. The who? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, copyright. Uh, I don't think that applies here. If it goes on YouTube, it does. It may post oh. it on YouTube. It Is does. it going on YouTube? Yeah. First one did. You didn't say you were recording, so. Or I wasn't listening. Well, you are married to him, so that probably means you wasn't. <laughs> I don't listen. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> it's it goes both ways. All right. Uh, looks like looks like Gonk gets the first move here. Oh, well, Gonk goes after unidentified creature. <laughs> what is it? Woo! Oh. Except for he's going to be standing 10 feet away from an unidentified creature because he's got long arms and he can hit them Ooh. and do plenty of damage. Okay. <laughs> Melrick. Nice. You uh, hit him with a Toll of the Dead, dealing uh, four damage to him. As he 
decides to attack old Gonky. Is that is that unidentified creature the one who was doing most of the, the talking? talking? Yeah. Okay. Okay. As uh, he then um, comes at uh, Gonk with his scimitar and his uh, dagger, swinging his scimitar twice. Missing both times and then stabbing with his dagger, which he hits with, dealing six uh, piercing damage to Gonki. Uh, another one of the uh, bandits then uh, comes at Brina with their scimitar slashing at her. Which hits. Ow. And he deals five uh, slashing damage as the, the 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 wounded bandit just continues there on the ground. He's 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 no good. And it is uh, Cassia's turn. Alright, Cassia already had her short bow out, so she's gonna shoot the unidentified creature in front of Gaunt. That hits and sneak attack. As you uh, hit him for 11 piercing damage. All right. Uh, reload and calm. Okay. As um, this one uh, person, um, I mean, they're not un unidentified. I mean, they're they're humans. You just don't know their names. Okay. Um, except for the uh, one that's uh, sick. You you heard him say that his name was Nick. Uh, he is pretty young, um, but uh, he begins uh, casting a spell Why? that uh, he is able to get uh, Brina. Um, hey, I was nice to him. Gonk and uh, Melrick in. Uh, so I need each of you, Brina, Gonk, and, Me and Melrick, to uh, make a dexterity saving throw. So again, you have advantage, Brina. Hmm. Yay. All right. So as he so as he does this, it, out of his hands come a wave of fire. As uh, Brina and Melrick end up taking uh, six fire damage each. And then uh, Gonk only takes three. And another bandit comes to attack uh, Brina, slashing at her. <laughs> Hitting, dealing three uh, slashing damage to her. And it is Brina's turn. She yells at Nick. I was trying to help you. That was rude. Well, um, Nick didn't. Nick didn't attack you. He. Did, I don't think he did anything. It was the unidentified creature, right after Cassia. Oh. Yeah, Nick is Nick is very badly wounded on the ground. Okay. He's he's is not he's Nick? not he's not in fighting shape. Okay, good. I was gonna get mad at him. Um. Hmm. How they're right, like within our our space, right? Like I couldn't. Mm -hmm. There's no way for me to thunder wave them and not hit us, is there? Um. You could uh, thunder wave. Um. The two bandits who have attacked and the unidentified uh, bandit. Okay. Uh, there's two uh, unidentified creatures. Um... Yeah. So so bandit one, bandit three, and the 
and the the first unidentified creature. Okay. Bandit one, bandit three, unidentified creature. Okay. Will do. As you uh, blast a uh, thunder wave at them, only one of which uh, ends up getting blasted back uh, 10 feet. Roll for damage. Okay. That's not damage. I didn't. I hit attack and it didn't do anything. Sorry. Uh, it's not working. Roll damage. I am. For some reason. It's not working. Let me try again. It's not working. That's damage. I I understand it wasn't working. I was clicking it. Nice. Well, yeah, but they all took full damage. Um, oh. Okay, so that's correct for him. The other ones should only uh, oh. take seven. Sorry. I know why it wasn't working. That was my Because you weren't rolling damage. No, I... Yeah, I was hitting the wrong button. That was my fault. Sorry. Uh, as uh, Bandit 2 then uh, sl slashes its uh, scimitar at Gonk, which uh, hits it. No. Dealing uh, six slashing damage to him. And it is Gonk's turn. Gonk, what you gonna do? Gonk's gonna do his thing. He's gonna hit unidentified creature. He just come to the census after getting smacked. <laughs> yeah, he hits. As he deals uh, eight slashing damage to the uh, bandit leader. And Gonk's gonna action surge. Okay. He's gonna go okay, after nice. him again. Okay. Skonk swings again, but misses. Of course he will miss. Huh? Melrick. Uh, let me try. Hoping these guys aren't too too high in wisdom. Can he use the inspiration to re-roll no. that? No. So the in so okay. so one so so one you already rolled, but but two the inspiration is to help your d twenty rolls not hurt okay. his d twenty rolls. Yeah. And, and you have to uh, decide it before you make your d20 roll oh got it yeah and it's and it's um, just for like so it's, it's just for like your attack rolls your saving throws your uh checks your ability checks got it nope that makes sense okay so uh he then decides to uh slash at uh, gonk with his scimitar twice uh, missing both times, but then stabs with his dagger, which he appears to be more effective with, stabbing Gonk as uh, Gonk is uh, not doing well. Bandit uh, 3 then uh, continues coming after Brina after she uh, blasts that thunder wave, but misses. Nick is still dying on the, f on the ground, and it's Cassia's turn. Alright, Cassia... <laughs> Aims her crossbow at the bandit in front of Brina. Bandit one takes a shot. And she Sneak hits. Mm -hmm. And she takes that bandit down. Alright, reload. Calls it her turn. Okay. As uh, this uh, kid uh, begins uh, casting a spell ag again as a uh, Wave of fire comes out of his hand, hitting uh, both Brina, Melrick, and Gonk. Each make a deck saving throw. So here, can I use uh, inspiration to? Correct. Yep. Have exactly. an advantage. Yep. yep. Okay. Okay. So you, nice. so you all succeed and only end up taking half damage. <laughs> 
This gonk uh, suffers a failed uh, death save there. Melric takes three damage. And Brina takes three damage, which drops her to zero hit points. Yep. Brina, what do you do? Oh, no. Um... She looks over at Gonk. I don't know if, if Gonk can help himself. Does he need help? She's pretty messed up, too, though. She's gonna... Is she next to him? Can she touch him? If she wants to. Okay. She figures if she helps him, maybe he can, you know, help and, and defend her, so... Okay. Okay, so uh, she uh, heals some of his uh, burned wounds as uh, this... Uh, Bandit then uh, goes for, yeah. goes and slashes at Brina, oh, okay. but okay. misses her. I was gonna ask, am I directly engaged with him right now? Which obviously yes. Yeah, Gonk. Gonk. Okay, Gonk. Uh, which one's near? Uh, who is it? Brianna. Uh, well, bandits two and three have been have been attacking her. Yeah. Well, I'm going to see if I can take out Bandit 2. I'm trying okay. to save her. As you swing your battle axe at him, you hit Yay. him. Nice. Hitting him for, uh, wow, 10, uh, 10 slashing damage. Uh... Elric is going to cast Toll the Dead on the guy casting the spells. Okay. He hasn't yeah. been hit yet. Yep. Yeah, yeah. he so fails. That's a 1D8. Nice. But if he looks young, I'm hoping he doesn't have many hit points. So. Yeah, so he uh, he gets hit for five uh, necrotic damage as uh, the uh, leader then uh, continues uh, attacking Gonk. Slashing with his uh, scimitar twice and stabbing with his dagger, which he's had a lot more luck with, but misses with all yeah. three. And uh, Bandit uh, three then uh, slashes at uh, Gonk as well and scores a hit, dealing uh, six uh, slashing damage to him. Nick is still <clears throat> on the ground, and uh, it's Cassius' turn. All right, Cassia is going to aim at unidentified creature in front of Gonk. Actually, no, he, she's going to take out the guy that's casting spells. Oops, wrong dice. And you hit. And sneak attack. Yay. And you hit and kill the 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 poor child. Woo. Well, hey. look at that look at that face that you just killed. Well, I he looks evil. Yeah, he wasn't really a child. <laughs> yeah, you can tell by his shadow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, reload and pass my turn. It is Brina's turn. Okay, well, Brina is going to. Oh, what is Brina gonna do? Uh, you know, she's gonna take a chance. Uh, Bandit 3 was attacking her, right? Wait, did, did I forget to have you roll a death save last turn? I did, didn't I? No, because I didn't. Well, I, I dropped to zero last turn. Yeah, you dropped to zero on the, from the, from the, uh, from the, the the burning hands, and so that was right before your turn. I just forgot to have you roll a death save. Okay, but I get advantage, yeah. Uh, yes, you do. Okay. Okay, so yeah, you succeed on the first one. Okay. Um, so I'm going to 
<laughs> you know, I'm going to take out my tiny little club, which is basically just like a stick, um, and cast Shillelagh on it and just hit Bandit 3 as hard as I can. Okay. And that hits. And you take them out. Roll roll another roll another death save with advantage. Oh, okay. Oof. Okay. And you fail that one. Well at least you you dropped the one. Yeah. yeah. That's that's two yeah. failures. Yeah, that would have been really bad. As a bandit two, then um <clears throat> Slashes at uh, Gonk as well. Ooh, and hits. So that's a. Uh, oh. Mm. That's a uh, two fa two failures for a uh, Gonk. Mm. As it is uh, Gonk's turn. Gonk. Gonk goes after. Let's see. Which one was being bandit to the and misses. Roll death save, Gonk. Shit. Gonk needs to get the heck out. Poor Gonk. Roll a death save, Gonk. Oh no. Wait, really? Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, thank goodness. Yeah. Whew. Melrick. And he's gonna cast his last spell slot to heal Gonk. Okay. That's all y'all been doing the nights healing Gonk. He ain't been <laughs> hit yet. Uh, annoyed with this, the uh, leader uh, turns his focus towards Melrick. Oh no. Slashing at him with his uh, scimitar twice and stabbing and can't hit a damn thing. In your face. And it is Cassius' turn. All right. Shoot the other identified creature this time. And sneak attack. Love rogues. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that hits him, dealing uh, eight piercing damage. Alright. And... Reload, pass my turn. And it is Brina's turn. Oh, I guess. Mm, shoot. What is Brina gonna do? Turn into any big animals? Heck yeah, you are smart. Um, okay. I am going, well, I can't turn into a big animal, but I'm going to turn into a wolf. Okay. And then I'm going to attack. Uh, whoever Cassia just attacked. Uh, unidentified creature. Uh, are you Circle of the Moon? Damn, no. no. No, I can't. So that's, I can just sorry. Go wolf. No, no, you're right. <laughs> I forgot. Usually I am, but not this character. Okay, okay so you oh, are a wolf. Here is the wolf's character sheet. Thanks. So it's an action, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's your action. Circle of Moon is a bonus, bonus action. action. Yeah, it's an action to uh, transform. As yeah. the bandit then... Um, continues uh, attacking Gonk, slashing but missing, and it is Gonk's turn. Gonk's gonna finish this bandit off. Swings his battle axe, hits the bandit, and takes him down as Gonk rolls another death save. Yay, nope, no, I, I healed him. Oh, you healed him. Thank you. Yep. Nope, Gonk does not roll a death save. Melrick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, toll the dead. Nope. As uh, he succeeds, he uh, looks around and knows that perhaps his uh, end, is, <laughs> end, end is near and decides to... Uh, Hmm, I guess just uh, lash out at Melrick, swinging his scimitar, which hits. Swings again, and stabs with his dagger. 
as uh, Melric suffers a uh, failed death save. And it is Cassia's turn. All right, we're going to shoot on a dire fry creature again. And miss that time. Cassia fires her bow, then uh, the wolf. Uh, do I get pack tactics? Is anybody yep. next to him? Yep. So you go and bite him, attacking him and dealing eight uh, piercing damage, and then um, you try to knock him prone, which you do not. Okay. And it is Gonk's turn. Ooh. Nice. <laughs> Yay. Gonk swings his battle axe and cuts Gonk. him down. Hey. Does uh roll a death save? Um Cuz I yes, well yes, yes, roll a death save. I'm proficient yes. medicine, but I don't know if I have a medicine kit. Yeah, roll it roll a death save. Okay. Oops. Oops. Sorry, just about. Yep. And I, uh, so I, you know, I move over there close to Melrick, so he does not get whacked on no more. I, I go get Nick's face. You go get Nick's what? Get his face. Oh, okay, I thought, you, I thought you were like I cut his face off. Well. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay, we'll just well, we we won't um. Uh, belabor. Dig through uh, all these bandits to see if they got any healing potions. And yeah, yeah. we won't uh, belabor the rolls on Melrick. We'll say you guys are able to stabilize him, so he's he's okay. not dying. We just say he dies. Oh wait, no. Yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> so yeah, Nick. I mean, Nick is just like he's so out of it. Uh, Gonk, he doesn't even realize that you're doing this. I mean, the the guy is like dying. He should. Drag him somewhere where he can get medical attention. And we kind of all need medical attention. And uh, as you start uh, digging through your stu their stuff, uh, Cassia, you find a bunch of uh, jewelry uh, worth uh, quite a bit. All righty. We'll see if we can keep it tomorrow. And uh, as you're uh, doing all of this, uh, you you've noticed Nick. Uh, Nick stops breathing. <gasps> oh no, Nick! I mean, I'm a wolf, so yeah, I pan it. I don't want him to stop breathing. A jump on his chest. Was well, he dead? Dead, or can we do a try to stabilize him? No, he's dead. He's been dying all day. Oh, okay. Well, then, should we take his stuff? Uh, he's not going to need it. <laughs> and with that, everything goes black. Oh, no. You wake up to the sounds of Sonny and Cher's I Got You, Babe. And snowing outside, and mm -hmm. so does that count as a long rest? <laughs> uh, yes, yes, it, yes, it does. <laughs> <clears throat> um, before they do too much, um, can Melrick can cast the um. <laughs> um, this is a short piece. Yeah, I think I think that was good. 
it's not going to trip you youtube's uh, algorithms yeah i forgot <laughs> Um, I want to do the, um, that, that forge uh, ability. Okay, yeah. The, the blessing of the forge. Mm-hmm. And, uh, Mowark turns to Gonk and it's like, does Gonk wear armor or a shield? Yeah, he yeah. has, he has, he has chainmail armor and, and a shield, yeah. He'll cast blessing of the forge on Gonk's armor, so it's a uh, plus one. Okay. Not sure how to do that. And... Yep, I, I I got it. Okay, perfect. So that should last all day. Mm-hmm. So you uh, wake up in the inn one more time. on the day of what seems to be the pudding fair again as the crow of a, of a rooster awakens you and you again hear the uh, the sound of a, of a brass band starting up and the town crier calling out roll up roll up for the pudding fair and as you get up and peer out the window you see the familiar crowd of happy halflings and gnomes bustling towards the fairgrounds on the village green as it appears to be seven o'clock in the morning again on the day of the fair this time don't save the guy from getting pooped on. I thought that was funny, says Cassie. Yeah, uh, I don't... But, but gate got us a magic bean, remember? It did, but little good that did us. Uh... Yeah. Uh, we should at least help these people out. Gotta... Who knows if we, if we don't, if uh, something bad starts to happen. But I'll leave it to leave. I'll leave it up to everybody if we should say that. We should. All right. So I just, ugh, just mad that this keeps happening. I assume all the jewels and jewelry that uh, Brina had are are gone. Yep, and you're your inventories reset back to what they were originally and and your gold counts well no work will go out try to help out the guy not to get uh bird poop and again try to stop oh, i think the the goose was first try to stop the goose from hitting the lady with the cakes yeah. Yeah. Hey, kid, leave that goose alone. Yeah. So you're able to go all out. We can. You, you, we can just. You know, since we've already played this out before, we can. You. You go out and able to uh, re repeat the the events uh, as before and uh, prevent them all from happening. Okay. Well, what could happen? Should we see if the. Uh... If the Potter's Kiln and the Puppet Show was yeah. as it was yesterday? I think we should. Puppet Show. Puppet Show. It's your turn. You were better at it. That'll I can tell a scary story. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, sorry. No, go ahead. I was just going to say... I'll tell the kids more scary stories. Scare them straight this time. And search them for hammers. Good idea. Well, work will go to the powder kiln to see if if it's broken or not. Cassie is going to stay away from the cider stand mm -hmm. this time. <laughs> <laughs> Chicken. Okay. I'm going to march over to the puppet show. Yeah, okay. Cassie will follow. So if you go uh, to the to the puppet show, you uh, see that the kids are not uh, restless, and it appears that um, the uh, puppeteer uh, 
uh, Emery Plumwicket is pre- 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 preparing to uh, do start the show, and he uh, appears to not have a uh, injured hand. I'll, I'll chant with a gonk. Puppet show. Puppet show. Puppet show. Yeah. As he then, the uh, as he then begins to uh, per- perform, and the, and the and the and the puppets uh, pop up, and the and it goes, and he goes, "Hello, boys and girls," and all the kids go, "Hello, Mister Puppet." Woo! Today, yeah! I'm going to tell you about the legend of Mystery Hollow. And that same heckler kid goes, Ah, we've heard that one before. Ah, but have you heard my version of the legend of Mystery Hollow? It is, of course, more interesting and more daring and more adventuresome. Wow. So what do you think, kids? Do you want to hear my legend of Mystery Hollow? And all the other kids go, Yeah! Well, you see, somewhere out in deep into Three Penny Wood is a place known as Mystery Hollow. No one can ever quite know know how to get there as any attempt to chart it on a map or write down directions never works as it never seems to be in the same place twice. But those that have gotten lost in the woods have come upon it. And the stories say that strange things happen there. And all the kids go, Ooh, well, just things don't work right. Elaborate. Trees and plants grow upside down and everything and the sky is, is below you and the ground is above you. And everything is all turned around. That sounds like strange things to me. (laughs) Well, you see, one day, a little child from Honey Puddle decided that they were going to go seek Mystery Hollow and discover its secrets. Okay. What were they? (laughs) Oh, well, you have to wait till the end. A very impatient large child. (laughs) (laughs) So they decided that they were going to get lost into the woods as they heard that was the only way to find it. So they packed a big lunch and a second lunch and a third lunch. And then they told their mom that they were going to their friend's house. And then their friend told their mom that they were going to their friend's house. And so both of their parents thought they were going to each other's houses. Now, this may sound like I'm giving you a very good idea about how to sneak away from your parents, but this does not turn out very well for these children, so you should never do that, right? It worked, though. And I mean, no, don't do that. And so they ventured out into the woods and they became lost. Where they had to stumble around for hours, not knowing how to get home. And they started to think that they weren't even ever going to find Mystery Hollow and that they were now just lost. And they would not be able to find their way back to Honey Puddle. And they started to cry and walk through the woods until they finally came upon a thicket that they opened with their hands and spread open and they stepped in and suddenly everything seemed upside down and topsy-turvy and wrong. And they knew that they had stepped into Mystery Hollow. And do you know what happened then? No. 
happened? They found in Mystery Hollow Erdlin, the trickster god. He was the one causing everything to be topsy-turvy and upside down. And he told them that they were now his, and that he would never let them go home again. And that he would twist them into his, his underlings that would serve him. And the children were never heard from again. So that's why you don't lie to your parents and venture out into the woods alone and stumble into Mystery Hollow where you get captured and taken by Erdlin and twisted to his will. So several other kids start crying. <laughs> Break out the hammers! No. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Including the, uh, of the heckler. He, he starts crying for his oh. mommy. It's a true story. I, I know someone that that too. That was actually a pretty funny story. I'm, just, I'm scared. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> uh, uh, story better. <laughs> so yeah, if uh, if if Melrick uh, goes to uh, the Potter's Kiln, uh, same thing. It's it's just as it was the day before, not uh, not broken. Hmm. Does he have time to walk over to the livestock pen and just see what's happening there? Because he's, he's not going to talk to the potter. He's just going to look at the kiln and then go, go right next door to the livestock. Uh, yeah, there's there's just uh, several livestock. Uh, you know, there, people are pre preparing for uh, the... Uh, you know the 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 prize hog uh, contest. You know that people have several of their hogs that uh, are hoping to to win uh, best in best in show. There's a uh, one uh, pig uh, hog known as uh, Cameron, which uh, seems to be uh, hotly favored to uh, win. And you you see a farmer butterweed uh, uh, sort of uh, you know priming and uh preparing uh Cameron for uh for for the big event. Anything that looks unusual? No, everything seems uh seems seems fine. And he'll wander down to the puppet show. There you are. And as you yeah get down there uh the puppeteer uh, Emery uh, finishes up the, the the story of the legend of Mystery Hollow. So, Melrick asks, so was this all fixed today? Yeah, it went really well. So it seems like once we help help a uh, a store or or a shop. They're better the next day because the Potter Kiln is still fixed, unlike the first time we took a look. You might be onto something. Well, I want to go to the oiled boar contest and try to steal the pig today. Do we steal the yeah. pig or just kill the eagle that tries to kill it? Oh, well, you know, I feel like pig would be really good for our team. Like, can you imagine how much that would boost morale if we had a pig mascot? You just want a pet pig. It, I'm just saying. Is it, as, is it as helpful as the rat? 
more help. All right. I'm in favor of it. But we shouldn't steal it. Maybe we oh. could buy it. Oh. Pat, you're right. You're you're probably right. That's that's a good idea. I'm gonna mark it for pin. Melrick will follow. With gusto. So a gawk. Can't see a will as well. So you want to go try to uh, steal via the boar? I, w I would like to liberate it in whatever way possible. Okay, so as you uh, head over to the uh, oiled uh, boar uh, contest, there's the uh, wild boar piglet, which is all lathered up with uh, slippery oil as mostly drunken part participants pay to uh, chase it around the muddy field and try to catch it. Uh, he is uh, in his... Uh, his 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 little pin uh, awaiting the uh, next round. Mm. Should we go in and try to catch it? Hmm. Maybe. Maybe can okay. This this might be a bad idea. Maybe if we cause a diversion. I can minor illusion can i use minor illusion to create an image of a pig if it's a fairly small pig or can you change into the pig i could we'll oh we'll swap it and then you can pop back out brilliant idea so smart it's like I've, do i it's like i've been a druid in a past life <laughs> I will do that. I will enter myself into the contest as the pig. So you try to uh, take the place of Oinkers, the uh, piglet. Correct. Or returns to Cassia. You think you can, uh, she can, if Brina can bring the other pig here, you think you can snag it without anyone noticing? Yeah, snagging it is not going to be the hard part. It's just keeping it quiet and keeping a hold of it to put it somewhere is going to be the big... Maybe Gon could help out with that with his big old arms. Okay. <laughs> no, we're going to Gonk. Not for eating. We'll, we'll feed you the eels, but not the pig. Okay. Why would we transform into pig while they rescue the other pig? Okay, so you're going to try to go into the pen and, uh, I mean, they're going to try to release the pig, so how are you going to try to do this swap? I can swap scene so that I can jump over the fence and someone can grab the other pig and I can take its place. Okay. I'll go grab the other pig. Okay, so he goes and uh, grabs the other pig while what? You uh, turn into a, a, a pig and take its place? Yes. Okay. So you uh, go ahead and uh, do that.
and uh, you're in the pen. And so when the next round starts, they uh, they uh, re they uh, release you out as several uh, drunken participants try to uh, catch you. <laughs> <laughs> As Can a, Cassia dash out there, and, or does she have to enter the contest? You'd have to enter. Okay. And uh, hey. Melrick will cast uh, Guidance on Cassia. I do try to debate them as much as possible, though. All right, so they, uh, they try to uh, come and get you. Uh, here's your boar... Uh, Make a uh, strength check to uh, try to uh, avoid them as they go and to try to grab you. I will try. This is not good. That's no, no, no. As the as the pig. So whatever. That should be a nine. It's uh, thirteen. Extreme. Yeah. That's how you do it. Yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, uh, unfortunately, you actually, uh, you're not very good, good at this as you're not used to being a boar in a, in an oiled boar contest and you get, uh, you get caught, uh, pretty, uh, quickly. Okay. Cassia? Now by just by one of the con contestants. And uh, as they're going to uh, put you in the uh, pin, a giant eagle comes swooping down for you. Melrick will cast Toll the Dead on the Giant Eagle. Okay, if you're going to try to do it, something to it, roll roll, roll initiative. Okay. It uh, comes down with its uh, talons for uh, Brina the Boar. And it uh, grabs her, dealing uh, five slashing damage to her, and then attempts to uh, grab her to take her away. Roll another uh, strength check to uh, avoid the grapple. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so cool. it uh, grabs you and starts picking you up off the uh, ground, and then it's Melrick's turn to try to do something. And it's within 60 feet. Yep. Okay. I will. And that's all you can do. Okay. All right. Tough Let's see it. Eagle. As he uh, hits the uh, eagle with its uh, with his uh, toll of the dead, and it's Cassia's turn. All right, Cassia will draw her short bow real quick and take a shot and try to clip the eagle's wing. Okay, she hits it. Sneak attack. Mm-hmm. All right. She deals uh, eight piercing damage to it, and it's Gonk's turn. Well, Gonk, uh, shoot his crossbow at it. And Gonk hits it. And he takes the eagle down as it uh, oh. falls to the ground, dropping Brina the boar back, in, back into the mud. We start chanting, save the pig, save the <laughs> pig. What? What's their reaction? Who's? Um, the bystanders. 
uh, well, they think you're oinkers, and so they're, oh my god, oinkers! We thought you were, we thought you were a goner. Oh, thank you, thank you, all of you, for for saving oinkers. Oh, no problem. We uh, we know what how important oinkers is to everybody. Where's oinker? The real oinkers at this point. I let him go when I shot my crossbow. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you you hear some piglet, you know, just running around in the in the weeds. Probably go and find something to eat. Probably probably heading over to the uh, cider place. It's not too uh, far away to find some apples. Mm. I'll go try come over and pick up uh, pick up oinkers to bring them back. Does he have to keep them? Oh. They're not mistreating them. It's, and we got we stopped the eagle from from eating them. True. Well, actually, we can't Brina can't talk, can she? No. Are you back? Are you still a pig? Uh, Brina is going to <laughs> transform back into herself and probably surprise everyone. Oh, well, you're going to do it out in the open, not uh, go off in a, and hide and do it? No, I want to do it out. All the, all the little kids start screaming, Oh my god, Oinkers is a lady! <laughs> <laughs> Malwork turns to the operator. Wait, did you rig this? Did you, did you hire a druid to be uh, your pig? No, no, I, no, I swear, uh, Oinkers was... Is, Pig, as far as I knew, I, I swear. Hmm. I just. <laughs> oh, what are we going to do now? I mean, you could find another activity and you could boil each other up and chase each other around. I know a goblin that might want to take that job on. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no more oiled pig contests for today. It'd be funny if, like, the anchors shape shifted into all the. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, I think with the uh, salvation of uh, Oinkers, I think we will uh, end there for the night. <laughs>